Aguas frescas. Aguas frescas. Aguas frescas. <música> Welcome all, bienvenidos a todos, welcome to Culturosity. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite parts of the food culture in Mexico and also in Latin America, which is aguas frescas. Aguas frescas translates from Spanish to English as fresh water, but it's not water. These are fresh fruit juices um, and also juices made from vegetables, seeds, and flowers that are extremely fresh and refreshing. I want to take you all through some of um, the most popular ones so that you can order them and know their translations in Spanish um, and then also point out which ones were my favorites. Um, one thing to note is that they usually add sugar to these juices so even though it is fresh fruit they you know want to sweeten it up a little bit but whenever you can I recommend asking for no sugar if they make it fresh because uh, then you'll get more of the actual fruit flavor and it'll be better for your health too. Um, so to ask for no sugar you can just say sin azúcar which is without sugar in, in Spanish. Um, so let's get going and taste some of these fresh fruit juices. Because I like these aguas frescas so much, I tried as many as I could. I think I got through probably six or seven different types. And most of them were from this vendor here where we have this menu that I'll go through. Um, and this vendor was inside of the Parque de las Palapas in downtown Cancun. So not the touristy part. And I highly recommend visiting here because there's a huge plaza with um, there's music almost every night, I think, and people are dancing. There's tons of uh, food vendors, too, with like tlayudas, quesadillas, uh, tacos, platillos, so many different Mexican foods that I'll cover in a separate video. But this one is about the aguas frescas. So let's get started. I'll start from the top here. And here we go. The first one on the menu here you'll see is cebada. Cebada translates to barley, which is a type of grain. I did not try this one, and a barley juice sounds pretty interesting to me, so I definitely would want to try this and figure out what it tastes like. Next up is fresa con naranja, which translates to strawberry with orange. This seems like a classic combo, and you can see the strawberry seeds, you have some pulp from the orange, so you know that it's fresh. This was definitely one of my favorites. After that, we have guanabana, which is soursop. If you're not familiar with soursop, it's a tropical fruit, which has sort of a texture like, like a banana and it's sweet and has a little bit of a sour flavor. Entonces, after that we have guayaba. I got confused between guanabana and guayaba a few times because they both started with G, but guayaba is completely different, obviously, and it is guava. Horchata de arroz. This one is probably familiar to y'all. Um, it's horchata, which is pretty popular. And this one isn't a fruit drink, it's made out of rice. It's a creamy, milky drink that is has flavors of vanilla and cinnamon. And this one is super refreshing as well. Similar to horchata de arroz, we have horchata de coco, which is horchata of coconuts. Um, so this one had pieces of coconut in it, it had more of a coconut flavor 
it was very creamy and I loved how it just had pieces of the coconut meat inside of it. Then there's Jamaica. This one is Agua de Jamaica, which translates to hibiscus water. Um, this is a typical, typical agua fresca in Mexico. Um, and this one is made out of flour. So it's made out of the flor de Jamaica, which is hibiscus. And it usually produces a, a tart but sweet drink. This next one is limon or lemon. And this is essentially just lemonade. So this is a lemonade, a Mexican lemonade, um, which is a super refreshing drink as well. Limon con chia is a nice addition to the lemonade. They just add chia seeds to it. So along with the drink, you also get the chia seeds, which give it a cool, fun texture as you're drinking. Limon con menta. This one is lemonade, but also with mint, mint added to it. And a lot of these aguas frescas, you'll see they'll have the, f the uh, fruit flavor or whatever flower or seed they're using, and then they'll add mint or some other uh, herbs or ingredients to it. Mandarina, this is essentially also an orange. So this is an orange juice. I didn't try this one specifically, but I would definitely love some freshly squeezed orange juice and see how they make it different Mexican style. Then we have maracuya. Maracuya translates into passion fruit. And I tried this one and it was also one of my favorites. This juice came with the seeds at the bottom too, which you can kind of crunch into. Um, with this nice yellowish uh, passion fruit color. So other than in Hawaii, when I had lily koi, this is the other place, I guess, that I've had uh, passion fruit. And so I highly recommend Agua de Maracuya. Then again, we have Maracuya con menta. So I always opted for the fruit juices with mint since I knew it would just give it an extra flavor and extra dynamic. So this is the one I got and it is a beautiful passion fruit with mint juice. Al siguiente, next is naranja. So we already saw fresa con naranja or strawberry with orange. This is just the orange juice by itself. And this is a little different from the mandarina. Apparently, so mandarin oranges are a little smaller this is the, the bigger orange, and it's also supposed to be a little more sour, a little more tart than the mandarin, mandarina. So I would definitely like to try both of those, the mandarina and naranja, and see what the difference is. These next two I'm sad that I didn't try because I know that these would be extremely refreshing. Agua de pepino. Pepino con limón is cucumber with lemon and then pepino con piña is cucumber with pineapple. Both sound extremely fresh and tasty. Following that there's piña by itself which is pineapple. Some nice fresh pineapple juice. And like I said I always preferred the juices that had some extra a little bit of extra stuff in there. So this one is piña con chaya and limón. So that's pineapple with chaya, which is a green sort of leafy vegetable, um, apparently called tree spinach. And the drink itself was very green. It made it seem like it was very healthy. Um, and I'm sure that this vegetable is definitely good for you. With all these different choices, I'm sad that I didn't get to try the pitaya. Pitaya, which is also dragon fruit in English, looks like a really awesome fruit. It has, it usually has this like super bright reddish or purplish exterior. And then on the inside, it's white with a ton of seeds. Um, it looks like a really cool fruit and I wish I tried this. One of my all-time favorites, getting closer to the bottom, we have sandia, which is watermelon. 
I've always been a fan of watermelon juice. And then we have sandia con menta, which is watermelon with mint. This one was super popular and they would always be sold out. So I always had to get the regular sandia because they didn't have sandia con menta. Then we have tamarindo, which is tamarind. And this is usually a typical agua fresca that you can find along with horchata in many Mexican restaurants. And tamarind has a sort of sour flavor, um, which I think is pretty popular in Mexico. Lastly, another one I didn't try, Te Negro, which is black tea. And I am pretty curious to see if it's just black tea that's been sweetened or if there's a little something extra in there. Um, but I opted for the more exciting and tasty fruits before this one. So I'll have to try this when I go back next time. Thank you.